all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, who I am, <laughs> who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a cruelty for YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today it's Sunday and it is the last day in my shroud week and if you don't know what that is, this whole week I have used each one of my palettes from shroud and done a video about them and done a look with them. And today I'm doing a palette bingo. I have all the four palettes that Shroud has released. So it's Creepy Cute, Divinity, Arcana, and it's freaking Bats. And I'm going to draw a shade from each of the palettes and we will just see how this goes. I also have 11 of their uh, shimmer, sh sing shimmer singles. I don't know if this is all the shimmers that they have as singles, I have no idea, but I might take one of these as well. I'll just have to <laughs> wait to see what I will get. So, I will just begin. Okay, so I will try to take all the shades at the same time. So, the Creepy Cute and Divinity have 8 colors, Arcana has 12 and Betty Jean and it's freaking bats. The collab palette with Betty Jean Beauty Bean has nine. So from Creepy Cute, can you see this? Six. Can I remember this? It's four numbers. I should be able to do this. Six. Divinity is a one. Then we have Arcana. Five, six, one and five, and it's freaking bad. It says nine shades and one. So from the creepy cute, I got color six, and I'm so happy that I didn't got one or seven, but I got six, so I got to take a hint. From Divinity I got one, that is this light shade, this light shimmer, I really love this shade. And from Arcana I got five? Did I? Yeah, I think five. So it's this gold shimmer. This is not going good. And from It's Freak Bats I got one. And it is also a shimmer. It's Handbook, this one. So, I got one mat. So I, I can swatch these for you. So this is Take a Hint from, I can't barely see it. This is the green one from Creepy Cute. The one from Divinity, Arcana, and it's freaking bats. So I got these shades, like what the hell I'm going to do with these. So maybe I should just take one of these, it, it like can't get any worse. So I really don't hope for uh, a one or three <laughs> or two. One, two, three I don't hope for in this one. So I will generate and this is 11 shades. With my luck I guess it's going to be one of these. Four. Okay, that's a little bit better. So number four is this blue one. This is really creepy. I can switch it down here. And that is Night Song. So this is what I have to work with. I don't know if it was better or worse, but it is what it is. Couldn't I get like one more Matt. But okay, I'm going to think a little bit about this and uh, try to figure out what I want to do. So in my wall, it's like only one obvious way to do this and you will just have to wait and see what I will do. But I will start with the only man I got, take a hint from Creepy Cute and I will smudge this in my crease. I like don't know why I keep doing palette bingos when it usually doesn't go that good for me. I don't know. 
I think it even would have been better if I got another. Like if I got the black or the gray actually. <laughs> because then I could have done like now I'm going to use only shimmers on my lid and uh, yeah it is what it is so okay so far so good I will on my lid take the gold one from the Arcana palette and this green shimmer from it's freaking bats and I'm going to try to deepen it down with the blue single shimmer that I got this one but yeah I don't know any other way around it so I'm going to start with the gold shimmer from the Arcana palette I don't know if this is a good brush but take it like out here and do you hear it's Ines that is s not snoring, but she's like lying like this. I don't know. It should be some other positions that is better to sleep in than that. Okay. <laughs> this gold, I, I really do like it. I think it's one of the best shimmery golds I have. And it's a really, really nice one. And it's blendable up to the crease, so nothing to complain about. Don't know if it is the best match with the, the green. But whatever. And for the rest of my lid, I will take a handbook, this one. I don't know why am I holding things so strange. Take that on the rest of my lid. Okay, <laughs> this brush was a little bit too fluffy for this shade. But it's working. And I like think that this handbook and uh, the green I have in my crease, take a hint, is a perfect match. Together with the gold. It's definitely workable. If it is it something that I would have picked on my own? No. Is that maybe the point of Palo Bingo? Yes. I like this eye. I, I I can't say that I don't, but I imagine like having another color in my crease, like a deeper color in my crease, and then have maybe a black outer corner. I think that would have looked amazing. But I think like a little bit of a deeper shade in my crease would have been better. And it's now I don't know with... I have brushes, pellets everywhere. With this one, the single shade, I could deepen it down in my outer corner, I guess with this one, because I did deepen down another shimmer with the shimmer in my video I did with its freaking bats, so I could do that, but I think I will save this for my lower lash, and then I might take it in my outer corner if I want to, I will see, maybe I just take it on the lower lash, or does that make this look a little bit too dark? I don't know. But what I know is that I'm going to fix my base now at least. Do that, maybe think a little bit how I feel. And when I have my base on, maybe I feel something different. So I will fix my base and my brows. And then I come back. And we have two colors left. A dark shimmer and a really light shimmer. I think I just will take these way out and put the light shimmer in my inner corners. Are you surprised? I guess not, so I will just fix my base and my brows. So I decided that I mostly want to take this green handbook on my lower lash and then just go in with a deep blue out here. So I will stop with this handbook from It's Freaking Bats. We're setting a little bit off. 
Maybe, maybe not. Trying to press it on and be a little bit careful because I don't want this on my face. And I'm going into this blue one that was Night's Fall, Night Song. And dip my brush in. You really pay my that. And just like take it out here. Okay. I need a mirror a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. Maybe take it a little bit up here as well. I love that this always feels like you're cheating when you're doing a palette bingo and just like put one of the shades like this, but I got four shimmers, okay? So, for the last shade then, and did I even in spell This one, I'm going just to pop it in my inner corners. I'm taking my little pinky and just press it in there. So, time for me to put on something in my watch line, a mascara, and choose a lip for this one. So this is the finished look. For my watch line I used Screaming from LA Girl and on my lips I took Witch Bitch. It's Witch Bitch. W Witch Bitch from Lunar Beauty. So this is the finished palette bingo look with my shroud palettes and I really do like this look. I just uh, wish that I had some more mattes or a darker matte but I think it turned out good. I love the gold and green that I have on my lid together. So maybe I could go through which shades I got. From Creepy Cute, I got, take a hint, this green one that I put in my crease. From Divinity, I took, I got Hator. I don't know how to pronounce that, this one that I had in my inner corners. Love that. From Arcana, I got Chalice, this gold one that I have out here. I love that one. I think I used it in my first impression and it's one of my favorite shades in that palette. From It's Freaking Bats, I got Handbooked that I also love and used in my first impression with this palette. And from the singles, I got this blue one night song that I just put out here a little bit. It felt really creamy and the swatch was amazing. So yeah, this is my palette bingo look with all my shower palettes. And now I'm going to do a review of the whole brand and of the palettes. So I can start with saying that I really like Shroud's eyeshadows. I think they do amazing mattes and amazing shimmer shades. And I have like nothing to complain about and I think they are pretty unique brand that does eyeshadow palettes that no one else does and they are not afraid to do like really dark palettes and that I really like. So I can start with the Creepy Cute palette that was their first palette. This is by far the best. Um, pastel palettes I have, the best pastel shades I've ever tried. I can recommend this palette for all of you who do want to try pastels and to try really good pastels. These are really true to color, they're easy to work with, easy to blend together. They have kind of much kick up and are very powdery but they work amazing and they hold up so good and they keep their pastel color and I really really love that. The only thing I don't like with this palette is that it has a brown, a brown, a gray and a black. The black is really good and the gray is really good, but I would have wished for... I, I can handle the black, but I wish that this was like a yellow instead. I think that would have made this so cool. But this I can really recommend if you want to try pastels, colorful pastel shades. You can buy all of the shades as single, so if you maybe just want one or two of the shades, you can buy them. I think all of them are equally good, and this palette 
I do recommend it if you want pastels, if you want something light to have as a complementary to another palette, buy this. It is amazing quality. And then the Divinant palette. And here I, it had a little accident. This shade fall out, like not with a pen, just the shade. I pressed it down, but I'm a little bit afraid to hold it up. Okay, I don't know how to do it. So, the Divinant palette. I think it's good. Um, it has two shimmers, this one and this one. They are really, really good. And these were the first shimmers I tried, tried from Shroud. A, a lot of different sounds. <laughs> and uh, I do really like it. But I actually struggle a little bit with this palette. What to do for kind of look. I think... I like to look at it, I like how it looks, but when I'm sitting down to do my makeup with it, I got a little bit stuck. But if you know that you want these colors, I really, really recommend it. I don't know what I wished for um, and what I wanted to switch out in this. I have no idea, but it's just that I have a little hard of time to come up with a look to do with this. I don't know why, but... Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But the shades are equally good as in the Creepy Cute. And uh, it is a good palette. And I think it has a unique color story. But it it isn't maybe that special. But I think it's unique. So if you want these colors, go for it. The next one is Arcana. And I think this is has been the one that you have commented most that you want during this week and I understand why it looks like this the moment they started to show shadows from this palette I know that I wanted it this is the most grungy palette I have it's so deep and so dark and the shimmers are just amazing I think I've used all the shimmers maybe not mystic or have I a blue is not my favorite thing. I can't remember if I used Mystic or not, but all the other shades I have used and the mattes are really deep and dark and the shimmers are just amazing. If you want a palette that you can do a grunge look with, this is the one for you. I, I love this palette. It is so freaking good. I don't know that it can be a struggle because it is so dark to like to do a whole complete look but just to take one of the shimmers like on your whole lid it is amazing. I don't know what Shroud are doing with the shimmers and I don't know why not more people talk about their shimmers but they are just amazing. They are so opaque so easy to work with and they are blendable and this palette if you want something different and you want something dark, buy this. I, I don't know what more to say, I just love this one. I think it's such a cool palette and it's so, like, the front of it, the whole packaging. I just love everything about this. It is such a cool palette and it's so, so good. Then the last palettes, it's a freaking bats that is the collab with Beauty Bean and Shroud. I love this. It is so, so good. I haven't used all the shades yet. I think it's Sam and Apparition? A Apparition? Apparition? English is not my first language. The rest of them I have used and the stills hold the quality. This is the other palettes are hand pressed, this is machine pressed and I think it works exactly the same as the other palettes. And this zero shade, it is amazing. I did use it on almost my whole lid when I did my It's Freaking Bats video this week and it is amazing. And this handbook shade that I used today and used in my first impression, amazing. 
and I think this also is unique and it is a collab palette and I think Betty Jean and Shroud did an amazing job with this. This is a cute little grungy palette and I just think it's so good. I wish though it was a 12 pen palette but I guess you can't have everything but it's just super good. So if you can get a hold of this I think you should. I don't want to like encourage someone to shop but it is so so good and I don't know if I can like review this. I've used one shade like a little bit just but I think I will do something else with this maybe in a get rid with me but yeah I can really recommend the shroud as a brand and I think that all the palettes keep the same quality so take the palette that you want the color story from I think though the Orkana or its freaking bats are the most unique palettes but I can't like choose a favorite because I don't know I love them all they are so so good so yeah I really hope that you have liked this week and it has been so fun to play with my shroud weeks my shroud weeks my shroud palettes I want to play with them more I don't know what to do sometimes I just know that I want to play with palettes but like I don't know what to do with them but I can come up with something maybe just do a get ready with me and use one of the palettes I don't know but I really hope you liked this video and I really hope that you have liked this week and I hope if you are thinking of buying one of the palettes I didn't I don't know if I would help you that my review helped you a single bit but if you have some questions about the palettes just comment down below and I will try to help you but I can recommend all of them by the color story that are most intriguing to you and I think you will be happy. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!